Welcome back. And last time we started the DLC. This time we're going to do more DLC. What if I just age feather out of here and just went somewhere else? Like, alright guys, I'm, uh, I'm off to do New Game Plus or something. Like, what the fuck? Why doesn't this... Does it repair based on intelligence? That would be so... So messed up. You know what, let's see if we can poison a dude. Silence. Look at him, he knows too, he's like... Ooh. See, so he's trying to just get me over there. Oh. Well, we got two of them, actually, that's... That's fantastic. This wasn't too bad. I wonder. Uh, there's gonna be dudes in the snow too. It sounds like sounds like a terrible adult movie. Dudes in the snow. <laughs> there's this one time when I was with uh, Triple Triad. Oh no, 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 no. When I was with uh. See, they don't let you. Oh, I'm sorry. You can't jump back when I'm behind you. I'm sorry, bitch. Yeah. When I was with Triple Triad, we made a. We were doing a Super Mario World Let's Play. And when there's this one point where Josh was making a pretty much an adult reference, and we went and we looked up. A song for, you know, an erotic movie. And the first one we found was called, like, Love Muscle. And I think it was from the 70s. And it just, it sounded hilarious. It's exactly, whatever you think 70s porn music sounds like, is what it sounds like. It is the epitome. Oh, he really tracks on that. So that's interesting. Yeah, that was, a. Uh... Oh, yes! You can get him on the way up, at least. That's good. Okay. Part of me really wants to go... Because I really want to go back to being a caster, because I love it. I just love being a caster. Don't give up, chess. How's this work? Yeah, freeze that asshole. Oh. Do you get something later to thaw all this stuff? It's interesting. I wonder if there's just a giant mimic room. Okay, there's... No, you can't set these on fire. Do we need the, the red flame to melt the blue ice? Let's use... She's a flame butterfly. and Let's see if we can do anything with that. Can't melt this? No? That sucks. Oh well. Yeah, so... Hmm. What else has been going on? I was kind of noticing... Today, when I was thinking about it, I was like... I don't have... I'm not normally political or religious especially on this channel, but what I've noticed is it seems like religion's kind of the the first point where kids, when they're becoming adults or whatever, that's kind of the first point where they start learning to think for themselves. I'm not saying I'm not saying for or against any religious beliefs or anything like that, but I'm just saying I notice that that's one of the first things to be challenged, so to speak. I'm wondering if there's a shade on the ballista, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe I can shoot it. Better not be a pursuer here. I'd be so pissed. Okay. Just shoot boxes for fun. That's just what we do. Oh. Fuck. Yeah, so... I was just kind of thinking about that. I thought it was interesting. I really do think that more people need to... Uh, just kind of challenge stuff, challenge beliefs, and all that. I mean, if anything, just to learn. Ooh. 
There are ghosts. Oh, what the? Yeah, I knew it. Okay. Of course you have a great sword. Or an ultra great sword. Of course you do. Of course you do. God. Yeah, because I was talking to my girlfriend about something and she... She... Yeah, just not to get into her stuff, but like, when we were talking about it... That's what kind of sparked it, because I was thinking... Uh, you know, it's like you need. It, it's good to have. I can't even see this guy. There he is. It's good to have your beliefs challenged, even if it's uncomfortable. Okay, he's still alive. Where is he? I didn't even see the sparks off his sword swing. Okay. Of course, they brought these guys back, though. Yeah, it's it's just good because if you can still hold your opinion, I usually like to base my opinions on facts. But oh, we just got a text. Oh, let's let's read this real quick. It's from Sean, I will talk to you in a bit, Sean. Yeah, so. How do you... Damn it, Sean. Anyway. Can we... Can we flame swap this off? Damn it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you ever been so mad you just punch a wall? That's why I was crying. Someone went, Fuck this! Uh. Anyway. So, since especially I'm trying to major in science, my whole goal is to question things just to get a better understanding of things, so that's the best way to learn. And if you question something factual specifically, but opinions otherwise, and you're still and your belief still holds up, like even in spite of evidence and stuff like that, it just means you have a stronger opinion. So I really feel that questioning things and not hiding from them is very beneficial if you're just trying to improve anything, especially as a person, but it, I might have said this on camera before, but I'm really big on self-improvement. I like to see what I can do better for... Oh my god. Someone just rang the doorbell. If you're ever wondering how to have your train of thought disrupted, that's, that's one way to do it. Okay, so where's... We came in this way, right? And then there's... How do you get the ice off all this? Makes me really sad. I, I want the treasures. Yeah, I was thinking about going back. Yeah, that's pretty nice, actually. I like the area so far. Oh, what is that? We could have went there, huh? We is that through there? I'm not sure, actually. I can't even remember. I'm already confused and jumbled on which way we, we've gone, and which way we could have gone, and which way we should have gone, and all that garbage. Oh. Is this the start? No. Oh! I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. <laughs> I was just hungry, that's all. Can we... Aw. Oh. Look at him. Oh. Screw you, dude. No. No. Oh man, I had to... Had to get hit there. I mean, I didn't have to, but I threw my stamina at him. Yeah, so... Ooh. We get stuffs. Stufferinos. Clearly. You can survive that, actually, I bet. When in doubt, whip it out? No. Gross bastard, a prism stone. So we could survive that. It didn't scream and die. Or you can just pull this. Or I could put my cell phone back in my pocket as if nothing happened. <laughs> oh. Is there anything down there? Okay. Thank you, I actually could use the heal. Oh! No! Oh, can I take that back? Oh, God! 
Oh, man, FromSoft telling me he should have took a risk. So if you get here, pull that or don't pull that bastard. And let me know what happens. Leave it in the comments below. Is it just one of them? I can deal with one. Ooh, I, I want to poison. Please. Oh man. Poison's kind of weak too. It's like. It, it, it would be better if. Let me save my stamina. What the hell? Nay, sir. Damn, he got so. Oh. I mean, it makes sense that he got so much of it. That doesn't mean it's not annoying. Ooh. That's actually the attack you want. Oh. oh I'm surprised. Oh, I knew it. That's the really. Really crappy part about some of these. Is like when you know you miss. And. You just have to kind of. Well, it's like I could. I mean, I missed there. I'm trying to rationalize what just happened. Not rationalize. But I'm trying to. This this is what I'm talking about. Self-reflecting. You're trying to improve and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm looking at what just happened there. Obviously, I missed. And with my last bit of stamina, I didn't have confidence that I would recover from my swing recovery fast enough to block. So I went for a roll, and I still got hit. But I rolled back too. I think that was my that was my problem. I should have rolled sideways. This looks really nice. Climb up. How many of these are there? Why is this even... There's like no indication that I just became, you know, Ezio or something. Like, I just... My life is Assassin's Creed. Let me just parkour up this bitch. Oh, I almost just want to die. I almost just want to die for that. I almost just want to die because of that. That. Oh wait, can I get back up? Oh man. Oh, I knew this was going to Yep. Oh, damn it. That's so far from the bonfire, too. Okay. I'll meet you guys back at that chest, I guess. There we go. Now we understand what the hell these are. Let's read this real quick. Uh, oh, it's frosty. Armor of the Rampart Golems, granted life by the Ivory King. The Golems were charged with the containment of the creatures of chaos within the boundaries of the wall. When the doors of Elium Lois were flung open, the palace turned frigid and lifeless. But the golems remained dutiful on guard. Let's actually put this on. It's got a lot of poise. A little more weight. It just... It's, it's, ah, it's exactly what you would think. Can we just snipe this asshole? Yeah. Okay, I think this is the place. That's what I'm hoping. Like, that's the... I don't think anyone put... a message here, so let's actually... Let's actually leave one. Let's get rid of one of ours. Which ones? Yeah, I like this one, but no one's ever using it, so. Let's see. Ladder ahead. Can we do ladder? Can we do objects? Do you guys see ladder? Where's ladder? Isn't there a ladder for one? Actions, orientation, attribute? Huh. Hmm.
I guess let's go with... Oh! Okay. Yes! Ladder ahead. Comma. Orientation. Should be right. No, oh, I want to read the... No! What the hell? Yep. Okay. Alright. That didn't take too long to get here. It did take a couple minutes. Did I get... Yeah, Snapchat. Okay. Yeah, dying is really bad. Just for momentum killer. You know what we're gonna do? Because I wanted to. Even if I wanted to. That is so weak. Does that just confirm the magic is still ass? Because I have a max catalyst, right? And... I just... Like, I pretty much hit him dead on. Miracles. We should be ready to roll or something. Okay. Ooh. Oh, is that... Is that the spell from the second DLC where they throw the giant, like... Uh ball of lightning up and it just explodes into a bunch of little ones which is really cool 50 faith holy shit developed from a primal miracle launched splintering spears of lightning ever since miracles came to be learned men have endeavored to rework and remold them to their satisfaction this is one such effort interesting okay alright so that's good we got something cool Yeah, we're definitely... It's a sniper spot, but what can you really do from up here? I guess you can do a lot from up here. That's just for one of them, though. Can I make that jump, actually? Aha! I hear one, like, directly under me or something just spazzing out. Cool, that's fantastic. I like that you can at least pick off two of them, and then there's this one. Oh, really? JK, it is a sniper spot. Oh god, there's a lot of those assholes in here. And to think we're almost through it too. Oh man. I can't hit it. I forget what game it is. It might have been this. I think it was Dishonored. Where you could, uh... You could, like, shoot the wall or something like that to make them look at the wall and distract them that way and then sneak past and stuff like that. I plan to Let's Play Dishonored at some point, actually. I don't know if you guys would be interested, but I really like that game. And I've only beaten it one time, and that was almost a year ago, because I bought it last... Hell, it was it was two years ago. Damn, because I bought it at Christmas when it just... It was the year it came out, I bought it at Christmas. Just, when it, uh... Like, because I worked at GameStop and I got an employee discount plus it was on sale, so I got it for like $25 when it was when it was uh, 60 at the time. So that was really good. So I'd like to play that, actually. And I am happy that Xbox is, or Microsoft rather, is going with games with gold, you know, kind of stuff. Because I picked up Dungeon Defenders for free, like a month ago or something. I think Reach is the free game this month, and I have... Today's like the last day I can get it, but I don't even want it. That's how much I don't like Halo, is I don't want to buy Reach. Or, I don't even want Reach on my hard drive when Reach is free. So, there you go. But Dungeon Defenders has been a really fun game. I've only played it for a little bit. But I, I like tower defense games. Granted, I'm not I'm not going to say I'm amazing at them or anything, but... I, I just enjoy playing them. And that game's a little bit different in terms of tower defense because you get to play a hero at the same time and you just run around and shoot crap while you build, which gives it a little bit of an RPG element. And I think it's actually really cool as a concept. But I, oh, I should have told some I should have told Perry to get it. Perry's a really good friend of mine. He You know, he likes to play games. We play a lot of games together. When I'm play my one Castlevania Harmony Despair video is with Perry. 
Which, I'd like to go back and play that game too, actually. That game was really fun. And... I think he would have really appreciated that game. Because that game looks like... It's fun by yourself. It looks like it'd be a lot more fun to play online. Okay, so it says not to go that way. We've cleared all of this, though. Like, we cleared... Oh, no, we didn't clear past the night the other way, huh? So let's go do that, actually. Yeah, I want to go back to being full caster. And I thought about going to the... I might do this off-camera on my own time. Like, in between episodes when I want to play Dark Souls, but I don't really have time to record or something like that. And I'll go... I wonder if there's anything behind that. I wonder if you get fired to melt all this at some point. And, oh, maybe you shut the doors, because didn't they say when the doors open? That makes sense. When the doors open, ice came, so maybe you shut the doors and ice stops? That's a that's a guess, because there's no ice out here, really. So I guess the ice is trapped inside. Never mind, so it's really... Eh, I can't tell. But anyway, so I should have had Perry get Dungeon Defenders when it was free and we could play it together, because that game looks really fun to play online. Because it's fun normally, but online is probably like a thousand times better. Can I one-shot these guys? I can't. Got about 325 in terms of HP is what it's looking like. It's alright though. It's plenty. And then, let's actually poison him. Because that works so well the first time. JK, he's just going to block. Oh, we got the Flame Swat though. It's an interesting item that they get to use. Yeah! That's really... Oh my god, backstabs. Backstabs, why are you not as overpowered in this game? Didn't I try and open this before and it was locked? I did. Bonfire. I'd like a bonfire. So there's a key we need. Where haven't we gone? We didn't jump down. So I guess we can jump down. Have I been in here? I've been in there. That's the treasure room. That's right. So we've been through most of this place from the angle that we took, the path that we took. The only thing we screwed up on was the elevator, and I was really hoping it would go back down, but apparently not. So I guess we're going to have to find out where it goes later. Which makes me sad. I actually really wanted to see what was down there. But see, I didn't take a risk, and that's what happened. So nothing ventured, you know, as the, the saying goes. I've been I've been really grinding D3 and I went and played like one game of Hearthstone to I was telling the story a bit in my Zelda playthrough but like I said not everyone watches that so I'll just explain it a bit here but yeah I played one game of Hearthstone I was like oh my god because it was the first time I played the game pretty much in a month I went oh wait I forgot how fun this game is so Am I done here, actually? Because it looks like there's a shortcut back to the start. Right? I could just jump this. Oh, JK. You can't. There's nothing up there that I remember. Let's double check. Yeah, I played the one game. And I matched up. It was a Druid Mirror. I was playing Druid because I play Ramp Druid. Because I just... I'm not... Like, I'm, I'm, I'm okay at Hearthstone. But... I feel like Ramp Drew is just really. <laughs> I feel like Ramp Drew is just really simple. In just general strategy, it's not like I need these combos. It's not like a Maz's pre stack where it's like I need to get these crazy combos and make something happen. It's just like Ramp Druid is. Did I draw Wild Growth or Innervate in my starting hand? No. Okay, yes or no? It's like yes. If it's yes, do something crazy. If it's no, just kind of wait till you can make other plays and hope you get like a harvest golem or something by turn three so you're not sitting there doing nothing but yeah so I do pretty okay with that and I played some other druid I forgot what his deck was kind of doing but I was making some he did something tricky I remember because I used I had two keepers of the grove to silence him and I don't like that the bodies decay makes sense though and I forgot what happened Really, he just did something, and I silenced a couple things that made my life easier. Didn't? Okay, I went. Okay. So I do need to go back, huh? 
Do we just need to... Was this just for treasure? Was it just for that spell? Because we were down here too, right? Wait, we've been here. So I guess... Oh, I don't want to warp back, but I guess we have to? Oh, wait, can't we jump down from here, actually? So now we're not too far from our starting point, so it looks like we need the key. Ring ahead to the left. Oh, thank you. Oh, is that like key to the embedded? Let's look at this real quick. This looks... What? I like seeing the detail on my shield, by the way. But this look What? This looks like a chain link or something. Ring crap... <laughs> Raincrafted from the chains of the embedded. Receive various benefits, but at the cost of increased damage taken. The chains of the embedded have the power to transform people into slaves of pleasure. Ooh. Setting them on a path of ruin. This ring augments that peculiar quality. So I guess the milfanitos were for pleasure or something? I don't know, because it wasn't there a milfanito trap behind the embedded dude that we used the key for. That was a really weird side quest, by the way. I don't really know the point of using a key of the embedded or whatever and stabbing uh, that dude and whatnot. Yeah, so what I was saying before is I really thought about going back to like Dragon Shrine and farming the rest of the crystal lizards and then clearing it out and then using an ascetic to get all the dragon bones again then maxing out the Moonlight Greatsword and then I could enchant that to something, you know. So I was thinking about really all those things. I didn't decide on one, but if I ever went back to being a caster, that's something I would do. I know we're warping back right now. We're going to spend off these souls real quick and probably check that box that's under the mansion. So let's... You've been... well. You don't have anything new yet, right? No. I have any two, thirteen, zero. Wow. I'm really out of chunks. So I might have to buy a bunch of those. I thought about buying a level, but levels aren't really going to do much at this point. That's what people online were bitching about, is getting to, like, New Game 7 Plus or some crap. And then trying to do DLCs, and they can't get past, like, certain parts, because it's just, like, the normal route of RPGs and going, Oh, let me level up. That's not even helping, because you're just so soft-capped on... Where is... Interesting. Do we meet him later? Oh. There's two of them now. Look at him with the combos. I read who I was talking to about. Oh, fuck you. I forgot who I was talking to about it. Someone kind of talked about what I was talking about. How people. I think it was a real Phoenix from Guardians of Middle Earth. I was talking to him because he plays Dark Souls a bit. I think we were talking about how the skeletons and some phantoms can just cancel out of everything, because I bitched about it before. I like that there's two effigies. There should be an item in here, right? Yeah. They seem to put one in pretty much monthly, or like when something comes out or whatever. Soul Vessel? <laughs> wow. That's so good. Not. Anyway, so... Why are we running? We can just feather. But yeah, so... I don't know, people share my frustrations. And I'm trying to remember how much time's on this episode. I want to make them... I don't want to make them too long, because as I was saying, my render times are horrendous. I need to clean out my my fans and my computer again, because I cleaned out my computer recently, but I need to do it again, because I noticed that my processor fan has a lot of stuff kind of caked in there. Not burnt in, but like caked in, so I need to get in like a Q-tip. Why am I doing this? Where is... Could you use a... Could you use some bonfire aesthetics and just get, like, extra bone dust and stuff and make your flask stronger? That's actually very interesting to think about. Maybe not, because, no, those come out of steel chests, right? Yeah. So what was I doing? I was going to... I don't need the short bow. Um... I could use arrows. I could use upgrade materials. I could use a level. I think I'm buying upgrade materials. I'm going to change my spells, too, because these aren't working. Well... Let's just buy 60. You don't need 60. Let's buy. Let's buy 18. 
We saw a bunch of those. Let's just spend the rest here. Okay. Visit me again. Let's just change our spells real quick. Not doing it. I still want to keep this because this could perform. Because it's like you get a, you know, you get a group or something like that, or it poisons faster than arrows almost. So I don't know. I should put combustion on. The reason I don't really want to is just because I don't cast fast enough for it to be really effective. So I'm not sure. Maybe we should put on a mass that increases cast speed. I think Straight's Helmet does that, but we've worn that so much. Uh, I guess this, because I have good close range options. So I need better range options. So I guess let's just do that for a bit. Oops. And then let's come back. Oh, of course. No, let's go back here. We're going to take a look up the other path real quick, and then we'll be done for today. It feels like I haven't... I feel like I haven't gotten a whole lot done in either of these. But, I mean, I've gone a good distance. I've gone a good distance in both of them. It's just that there's not a whole lot going on, I guess. It's really hard to tell what you've really accomplished just because the areas are very difficult to actually observe correctly and there's just a lot going on. So those chicks respawn too. So we were down there, we did stuff, we haven't been in there. But we went this way, right? And we did some stuff, so let's go left. I guess that's where I'm supposed to go. Well, maybe this is what I was supposed to do. Do we have a boss at the start this time? Oh! Is it the dark sign? Because I have the dark sign. outside so I'm expecting a big boss maybe a dragon King's Pit camera's kind of zooming out too oh is it is it a shade it's a shade okay it's a big dog shade So messed up. Like, I can hear it. Oh! Wow, he called the run. Okay. So I'm actually... I need to turn my TV up for this. Because I need to be able to hear it. Right, we're going to try that one more time. That was interesting. So it's actually... See? I think I was talking to Subprogram, or I was talking to someone else, I can't remember. I'm trying to see if my mic picks up any of that, it almost does. But yeah, I was talking to Subprogram, I think, and he said, wouldn't it be ironic if magic is good in the next DLC? <laughs> and so far, no. <laughs> I mean, what do you have? Like, I'm doing half damage with fire magic to ice people, I'm doing half damage. And the first boss is untargetable. So how the hell do you use spells? Poison might be good. I wonder if poison works. Do we have to go through the talky talk again? Yeah, it's really important to use yours for something like this, though. I think if I die again, I'm going to try and pull it. Actually, it's not on the ground yet, huh? That's so messed up. Okay, it kind of spazzes out. What the hell? I have no idea. Dude, I have no idea what to do. Because I can't, I can't even physically see it. I don't know 
someone might have better eyes than me and they can actually see it, but like I'm looking for the smoke it makes, I'm trying to listen for its attacks, I can't, I don't know how I'm going to do this. So I guess we'll try, we'll try a couple more times and then we'll be done today because, I don't know, because if I can't beat it now, I'm just going to start up the next episode and I might just do it without commentary so I can actually concentrate and take the headset off and hear it and stuff like that and then I'll see if I can even beat it. So, I'm not, I'm glad it's right here, but my whole plan before was to like, try and poison it and see if that works, but from what it looks like, it's not even on the ground so you get up there, like it jumps off the, the wall or something like that and then jumps down to you, so you can't even probably snipe it. I wish there was something... Like, I, I wish... This is when I wish it didn't have, like, the boss health bar, because if it had, a like, a normal health bar, after you damage it, you can actually see the health bar on top of it. Okay, I was gonna say. Okay. <laughs> I probably dodged an attack, and I probably got hit by one. What's it doing? You know what we should do? We should just be near statues or something. Okay. Fuck. This is like... Okay, if you ever play Dark Souls 1, it's like Priscilla. Where she turns invisible, but... Priscilla was much easier in the fact that... There was snow, so you could see her feet. Like, you could see where she was stepping, and you could base the whole fight off that and that lets you adjust range and stuff like that, but I'm not seeing any of that so far. I'm just seeing a boss that I can't physically see, which is fine that they made a boss, you know, with that kind of gimmick where you can't see it, but then it's like... I don't know, I'm not seeing... Maybe when I go back and look at the, uh, the footage, maybe I'll see some patterns or something that I can kind of pick up on, but like right now, I can't put the attacks to the sounds that I'm hearing, I can't see it, like, I can't, I can't even, I can't see it just at all, like, I have to be right next to it, and then I can faintly barely see it, like, I can't see, like, kind of an outline from a far distance, like the, like the other foggy dudes or whatever, it's just, I can't, like, I don't know what to do right now, so, I'm gonna try one more time. Like, I'm right next to him. I can't see him. Do you just need to block? Actually? He's gonna kill me. No? Okay. Let's not try and dodge, let's just block. Or we can just get hit from the side. Oh, that's gonna hit me. Yep. That was my bad. Alright. Oh, that's, that's a really dumb boss. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just a really dumb boss. Uh, we're going to try blocking next time, so... Yeah, next time, I don't expect commentary to start. Just expect kind of a death montage, and then I'll kind of start talking when it's dead. But, yeah, next time, more stupid invisible boss, because that's just... It's, it's dumb. Why would, why would you do that? It's dumb. Anyway, look forward to that, and I will see you later.